Hi everyone, it's Marcy here from Stampin' with Marcy. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. And today I am here with you with the Creating Kindness Design Team. This month our theme is landscape. So this is the card that I will be creating with you today. I am using the Let It Ride stamp set. And my sentiment is from the Butterfly Gala stamp set. And then I have used the Rectangle Stitched Framelits dies, this die right here. My colors are Mossy Meadow, Pool Party, and Soft Suede. So let's get started. I'm going to just move this aside and we're going to be doing some water coloring. So I have some shimmery white cardstock here and I am going to start off by getting a bit of water on my card front so that my ink moves across it much easier. All of the measurements can be found on my blog as well as the links for purchasing any of the supplies that I have been using. So to do any water coloring, I pick up my ink off of my ink pad with a clear block, just like that. And then, you don't want it too awful wet or it will um, take a long time to dry. And you don't want to be perfect. This is a handmade card. There are other members of our design team that have created videos, so please click on the links below um, to see what the other team members have created. All of the links for all of the team members uh, blog posts can be found on my blog www.stampinwithmarcy.com. We would love it if you would hop along with us. Now, as you see, I am bringing this down fairly far because I want to make sure, if you take a look at my card, I want some blue sky in behind those trees and the horses. So that's why I'm bringing it down here. Just like that, okay. And then I'm going to clean off my aqua painter by squeezing, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to take my heat gun and quickly, excuse the noise, dry this up a bit. Now, I'm going to take my, close up my ink pad so I don't put my fingers in that. I'm going to take both my horse image and my tree image and I'm going to color them with my Stampin' Right markers. I've got my Mossy Meadow and my Soft Suede here. So I'm going to start with my two horse images and I'm going to color in the grass first. And you can see I am coming in on the side of my marker. I'm not smushing down with the marker tip. Coloring in on all those little bits of grass. And there. 
there's a couple right here. Don't want to color the horse green. Okay, and now I'm going to take my moss or my soft suede and I am going to color in my horse. Again, I am coming in on the side of my marker and you can see that gives that a nice covering of ink. Our Stampin' Write markers are water-based ink just like our ink pads. So they're a perfect option to choose for doing this kind of work or if you were coloring in a sentiment that you wanted different colors for the different words. And I'm just going back over a second time to make sure that I have not missed any areas. Okay, so now I'm going to breathe on it to make sure that that is nice and moistened. And I'm going to put this down on my, actually first, let me just take my fingers and I'm curling it back the opposite way because I dried it with my heat gun. So it tends to make the shimmery white cardstock curl a bit. So you can see just the, the heat and pressure from my fingers has smoothed that out a bit. Breathe on it again to re-moisten it. Make sure that this is nice and straight and stamp down. Okay, and now we are going to do our trees. So I'm going to, this time I'm going to do my stems of my trees first and then I'm just going to bring it in here and there just down the center where you would see that trunk of that tree. And then bring in my mossy meadow. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Please, if you haven't yet, subscribed to my YouTube channel. That way you don't miss any future videos that I have. I do one Facebook Live a week and um, I post that to my YouTube channel. And as the new catalog has just begun, I will be actually creating more videos to have go directly to my YouTube channel. So by subscribing, you're not going to miss any future videos. If you live in Canada and do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you currently work with, I would love the opportunity to earn your business. I have a wonderful rewards program for my customers. You can shop online 24 seven, seven days a week in my online store. I also, for local people, have classes every week. Sign up for my newsletter so you don't miss anything. Okay, I'm doing the same thing. I am going to bring this over here because I'm trying to create a scenery. So I've done one, now let's do one more. Going back in just quickly. And I'm gonna show you how we can darken up some of those lines in a moment. Thank you. 
please be sure to check out what all of the other team members have created. Leave us comments. We'd love to hear from you. Okay, I'm going to bring in this piece of scratch paper so that when I stamp this, And then I'm going to just bring that up slightly, make sure we're straight. So just a bit of my tree is showing on the side. Okay, so to fill in some of these lines that might not have been very dark and to create my slope, I can take the other end of my Stampin' Write marker, one is the um, brush tip, one is the nib pen tip. So you can just lightly come in and fill in any lines that you feel you want a smidge darker. So I'm just coming in with the horse's legs. Filling that in. Don't want it too dark as this is a watercolor type of image. But I do want it just a smidge darker and by bringing that in, you can go right over those lines and darken that up just like that. Okay, so next we're going to take the tip end and I'm gonna add just a few more blades of grass in here, darken that up. And then I'm going to take this line right here and I'm going to bring it down as if there was a slope here. And then this line here, I'm going to bring it like that. What do you think? And then I just want to add a bit more color there. And I want to bring in a bit more dark here. And because of the style that this stamp set is, it's okay to be kind of scribbly, I think. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Mossy Meadow and I'm going to open that up. Get a little bit of ink on there. bring that in. Coming just right up to that line. Not getting too much water up there because I really don't want a lot of bleeding from that stamped. And then I'm going to come in here. And do the exact same thing. Feathering it in there. And it's okay to have a little bit of lighter areas and darker areas. because in nature, in the fields and that, that's what you would see. It's generally not one solid color. We've got some variations, so we 
try to do that in our artwork. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. And now while that drives, dries for a moment, I'm going to again clean off my brush, squeezing, and I've just got some paper towel, and you can see that there is no more green coming out of that, so I am going to close that. And now I'm going to stamp my sentiment on my little I cut stick, stitched rectangle and I'm going to be using my soft suede ink pad. I always flip it over to take a look and make sure that I've got good even coverage, that I've got no hairs or anything sticking to it. And then I'm going to Stamp that down, give it a second. There we go. Now I have already colored one of our epoxy hearts with my uh, dark real red stamp and blend marker. And I'm just gonna pick it up with my take your pick tool. And I'm just going to put it down. And I think that looks pretty straight. There we go. And while I'm giving this a moment longer, I'm first going to take my Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm gonna put one in the center, and then I've got my little my little baby ones, I call them, and I'm going to put one on each of the four corners because I don't want it to collapse. And then I'm going to take my, move that to the side. We don't need this anymore. We don't need that. I'm going to take my horse image again. So I want to stamp my inside. No naked insides. You've taken all that time and effort to create a beautiful card front. Make sure that you show some stamped love to the inside of your cards as well as your envelopes. So we've got some grass there. And then Coloring in my horse, my two horses, I should say, here. This stamp set, you could put any sentiment on it. I thought this could be a perfect anniversary card. And that's why I chose the sentiment the sentiment from the Butterfly Gala. Okay, so now I'm just gonna stamp that there. Now, I'm going to take a moment to, I've got my Early Espresso um, watercolor pencil, and now I'm gonna color in my horses. I'm just using very light pressure and I'm coloring in circles so that I don't have lines, so to speak. I find for me, coloring in small circles, I get a better even coverage when I am coloring. And the heavier you go, the darker you're going to get this. 
but I don't want it too awful dark, so. I'm just quickly and fairly lightly light on my pressure. Coloring these guys in. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. This is just what regular Whisper White. that I'm coloring on, but I'm not gonna blend this out because it is regular Whisper White and I don't want it to pill on me if I was to blend it with my uh, blender pen. You can, if you use very light, quick strokes, not too heavy, don't get it too awful wet, but I feel that this is fine. I like the way it looks. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. There, as you see, that's pretty good. Okay, but with this one here, I want to bring in my blender pen and I'm just going to go over that just to kind of blend out that color a little bit more. Don't work it too much because you don't want the line image to bleed out you want to keep that fairly crisp looking. There. And then to clean that off, you're just going to wipe it on a paper or a tissue. And as you can see, there's nothing coming off of that. Okay, so now I'm going to take my liquid glue and I'm going to adhere this to my Mossy Meadow. Flipping it over so that I can give it good even pressure to make sure that that glue is adhering everywhere. Bring in my soft suede base and my bone folder to give it a nice crisp score line. You really want to burnish that well. And then we're going to put some glue on the back of this. And our inside. And then the last thing we need to do is peel off the backing of our dimensionals. Okay, make sure that we are nice and straight. You don't wanna stick your sentiment on crooked. And there we have it that up just a smidge higher. The good things in life are better with you. 
So here is my original and here is the one I created with you today. Thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Make sure you click the links below to follow along with our blog and video hop. Thanks so much. Bye for now.